Gulen, who is widely known for his message of tolerance and intercultural dialogue and mutual understanding, said in a statement that losing those gains would mean victory for the terrorists. What our nation should do is avoid being antagonized by those who use the saddening and ugly occurrences for their dirty purposes. Our nation should not support thoughts and movements that will cause us to lose our gains in the fields of human rights and democracy, he said. In the past five days, 17 Turkish citizens have lost their lives because of attacks by the terrorist Kurdistan Workers' Party, known as PKK, and a mine explosion. In his message, Gulen stressed that those attacks were masterminded by shady circles. He added that they will not accomplish their goals. Like they did in the past, the wicked circles engage in their bloody tricks every time our country takes a step to reach world standards in human rights, to become a developed democracy and to improve its rule of law, he stated. He said the best response is to unite against terrorism, regardless of political, religious or ethnic differences. Gulen went on to elaborate on the kind of response he prefers to be given to deadly terrorist attacks and the ensuing efforts to provoke the people. We should take a common stance against terrorism without heeding political, religious or ethnic differences amongst us. We should present a picture of unity and togetherness, one that says we will not bow to wicked circles. What should be done is that we should contribute with common sense to the peaceful coexistence of our people in the atmosphere of unity and togetherness, and to raise our democracy to the highest possible level, he wrote in the statement. <laughs>